Hey guys, welcome back to the Birmingham City career mode. Last episode, it was a big episode in terms of keeping our job, but the, the safety is not secured yet. We're still we're still in the relegation zone, and we've got Watford. This, we've got Watford who are above the relegation zone, three points ahead of us. If we win against them, because they're there, because they're our next match, we'll obviously match them and hopefully one step closer of escaping relegation zone. We. We're getting to the midpoint of the season here. We're in November. We're going to finish off this month with Everton as well after. So yeah, 51% of you are still not subscribed. So if, you, if you're still here, if you're still watching, I, I appreciate you. But click that subscribe button down below. That's the, that's the finger pointing in the right way. But yes, thank you guys. Let's Before we actually get on to the Watford match, let's actually check the squad hub. Because I haven't actually checked it too much times. I want to see how our players are doing. And yeah, I've, I've ch I actually checked a bit before I started recording and then I noticed how Murabi on, is on 5 goals and 5 assists. I think that stat is a pretty surprising because I, I do I do lay into Murabi sometimes when he gets the ball wrong. But I do that with most play other players as well, especially the attacking front. I expect high standards. Sometimes we don't meet them. But yeah, Murabi, considering his rating, 70 rated, he 5 goals, 5 assists. He is just, ever since that those first 6 months of this career mode, the first couple of episodes, ever in season one he was pretty bad but ever since he started playing well ever since i started doing recorded episodes of this career mode he started just playing really well and, and maybe he deserves to be um maybe rising in terms of training and maybe i should be training his uh, attributes a bit more to get the most out of him but he gets the most we get the most out of him anyway it's, it's, it's amazing to see i did not expect him to be at the top i don't know why lucas has scored three goals and ketty has scored that's the problem we've Obviously, relegation struck teams, the biggest problem with relegation teams in real life, let alone on FIFA, is that we're not scoring enough goals, and this proves it. Our strikers have only scored five goals between them. Six goals, if you count, or Pender's only scored one. Um, he's had three assists. To be fair, I haven't, I haven't played in Ketier. And to be fair, and we signed no Pender and Ketier, didn't we, in the middle of the season? But it was only the first couple of games. So we can't give them the benefit of the doubt all the time for that. But to be fair to you, Pender, he's got three assists. Only second behind Murat B. So as a striker, he's been holding up the ball well and giving other players a chance. And Ketty has scored two goals. He's a young lad, still developing. So once he gets to 75 rating, he'll... And above, once he starts training him up, he'll get better. Let's see who else has got the most assists. Crowley's got a goal himself. I think Gardner's got one goal, to be fair. Pedersen's got two assists as well. He's been decent. He's starting our games now ever since Keita got injured. Hogan got that one crucial goal for us. He'd get the draw, I think, in a couple of episodes ago. Collins been good. Jimenez, I don't know why he's in here. Um, yeah, nobody else has got that many. So yeah, the goals are just dry, really. We need more goals. That's what we need, really. It's a given, isn't it? If you get goals, you win football matches, isn't it? <laughs> oh my god, how many transfer offer for this geezer are we going to get, mate? Like, there's literally no point in me accepting these if they're not going to come off the ground. <sighs> okay, ahead of this Watford game, some international duty, Montero for Ecuador and so forth. You've already sent me a transfer offer. Did I not delete the email player chat dean i've been pretty f good form i'll consider it mate but you're not you're not coming on you're a good center back to be fair back up for us but you're not playing for this game this is a big game at home as well we should be winning this we need to win this to keep ourselves in the game you know what i mean so we've got our first win the season but let's get the second one let's continue this momentum and start actually winning games get more goals as i've said and yeah it looks like it's going to be the same team as usual Obviously, Pedersen coming in for Keita now, for the time being. Or Penda and Ketia together. Lee Camp still going to be in the squad. He's been great for us so far this season. Obviously, when Ramos gets over 77, 67 rated, then we'll play him instead. In terms of the youth, I've got my um, youth, uh, young left back. We signed from the Youth Academy. I forgot his name, actually. But we need to, we need to play him in five games as a sub. Just for the objective's sake, just to help us out a bit in terms of manager rating. So yeah, I need to remember to do that. But nevertheless, let's get these three points. Yeah, so we ain't St. Andrews for the Watford City. Watford City? Watford game. We've got the home advantage, we've got the stadium full of people, unlike real life. Obviously, we can't underestimate Watford. They're still a good team. They've still got some good players. Saar, Dekure. Didn't we lose to them a couple of episodes ago? No, we didn't actually. They took us the extra time last episode to penalties. So, they're pretty equal. We're pretty equally matched. And I can't be bothered to look at the team sheet. I can't. Do you know what? I just can't be bothered. And it looks like they're playing a 4-3-3 as I can see already. So, yeah. 
just no questions asked. And Kete's already bloody got the ball. They've made some mistakes already. Let's make use of it, though. Or oh, Penda's dribbling leaves a lot to be desired, though. Oh, we could have got at least a shot off there to start things off. Now they're... This game has started really fast-paced. It's ridiculous. Clark Salter deals with it, though. I just... My, my players just feel so much faster. It's, I don't know why. Okay, Saar's on the wing here. He's crossing it in. But Colin gets it. Good header by Murabi to Clark Salter. Clark Salter carrying it out from the back. Murabi... Come on, lads. I just, the game speed just feels faster. I don't know... I don't know if it's just me. Gardner to Crowley. Ah, uh, doesn't quite reach Openda. Again, Saws on the wing. This is going to be a running theme. Oh! For once, that cross nearly led to something dangerous. Off the header rebound to Kapu, but hits it first time. And goes wide. Okay, Openda's got it here. But he's lost it. But Crowley gets it to Colin. Let's see if he, he can whip one in. He's still got it. No. Oh, that was close. Nearly landed straight to us, luckily, but not to be. Okay. Delefeu. I think Delefe is actually starting this game. I like the Cowboy Cup game we versed them in. But it doesn't matter. Let's focus on ourselves. And Ketier, nice backwards pass to Crowley. Oh, but Crowley doesn't reciprocate. Oh, cleverly's a good pass to Delefeu. Dangerous player he is, obviously. But Tar sweeps it up. He has really brought the defence into higher regards, let's say, ever since it's coming from Bayern Leverkusen. Penda. Oh, come on, what is that pass or Penda? Penda hasn't really started this game well, to be honest. And now Delphi is on the case. Kapu! Oh, it's a goal. I'm not going to blame it entirely on Openda because obviously there's a whole more defending we have to do there. But yeah, the midfield can't track back, which is concerning. Um, but there isn't really much I could have done there, to be honest. Too much power for camp. It's 1 0 to Watford. I think that's a bit unfair, but do you know what? It was a good play. We, uh, midfield and defence kind of slept. We just have to get ourselves back in the game. Come on, Openda, do better. Nice to then Ketier. It's food to Murabi, but I think that was going to be offside anyway. Nice pass to Colin. To Nketiah. Over the top from a pencil, Nketiah. Let's see if our strikers can actually perform now. Nice dribbling from Nketiah. Pass it to Openda. Oh, it's hit the bar. Gardner. Huge unit lucky. The ball landed to him, and he took the ball in the stride. Ah, oh, God. Okay, we're gaining more pressure, though. That's good. Better play. Oh, this is much better. That was, that was great dribbling from uh, Nkete before that. Okay, Crowley's got it. Let's keep the ball now. Let's keep the ball. Don't always have to rush it. Might be. Finds Nkete. Turns in really well. Oh, again, a wide shot from Nkete. His dribbling's really good, but his shot needs to improve. Maybe I'm shooting on his wrong foot, but I've been saying that a lot, especially last episode as well. And obviously, the manager's also this short. We should be equalising this. We should, we should be 1-1. Realistically, the amount of chances we've had to theirs. It's not good enough. They've been more clinical. Now Sars turns Pedersen inside out. That reminds me I have to get the other left back on. Oh! That was a good cross to be fair but Camp deals with that. Let's see if we can get one more chance before half time. Come on, that's not the best pass is it? That's not the best pass whatsoever. Kure gets past Sunjik. Cleverly. To Saar. Okay, luckily. We're fine. Come on. Looks like we're going to run out of time here. Unless we can squeeze in one more chance. Come on, Openda. Keep the ball, man. Openda, what are you doing, man? What are you doing? It's not good enough. I need to train these players better, man. Because the ratings are not helping them whatsoever. They really are falling off sometimes. It's against Watford. It's not against a big team. And they've scored again. We don't deserve this, but we've just wasted so many opportunities. And we pass. we're passing like morons sometimes. Tar gets the ball, but he gets out muscled somehow. Oh, that's ridiculous. I know Delefe is a good player, but I mean, Tar should be dealing with that straight away. He did, but then he lost it somehow. Explain that to me, lads. It's half time, 2 0. How is. 
I can't believe that's actually happened. I can't believe it. We can, I feel like we can get back in this game, but one more goal and then we're definitely done out here. We need to start off the second half really well. Okay. I might have to go attacking if we don't start this half good, but good pass to Pender. Can he finish it though? This is ridiculous. Oh, Pender! What are you doing? Let me see this again. Oh, it's just wide. Okay, I'll, okay, I'll give you that. Maybe I tried too much power. Maybe I should try finessing it. But I feel like the goalkeeper would have saved that. Oh, we should have scored there, man. How many shots are we going to miss? No wonder we not, aren't seeing many goals in the stats. Bloody hell. Good tackle by Colin. I'm going to go attacking now. Screw it. Let's get more players involved here. But Gardner loses it. Great. Let's pressure them. Let's pressure them. Go on, lads. Get Crowley. Go on. Get out, my man. Pressure him. Good. We're pressuring them. Good tackle by Colin. Good pass to Pender. Come on, mate. You, 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 you're better than this. You're better than this. He's lost it cleverly. And he's... Oh, what a long ball over the top. Oh, Delafay's through here. Is that a penalty? How is that not a penalty? Okay, I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. Come on, we can. We need to score now. The, the fans are literally beckoning us, if that if that's a word, to bloody score. We should be. We should have already scored, to be honest. We could have scored four, two, four or five. If we were actually clinical. Come on, nice. Oh, what is that pass? The final ball is pissing me off now. Uh, they just get. They're just getting us with the long ball because we're having such a high line because our attacking tactics. Saw so, luckily another shit cross from him, but it doesn't matter because he's winning. Oh, nice Colin. Crowley loses it. Why well, am I not surprised? But they've given, they've given us opportunities and we're not taking them. Come on, lads. Keep the ball. Don't rush it. Don't rush it. Go on and pass it back to Sunjik. Turns in. Come on, go on now. Oh, stop getting out muscled, man. Oh, this game's not... It's just it's just not looking like our game, is it? It just isn't. Okay, get here. Can you cross it in? Nice cross. But crosses don't work in this game apparently. Sunjig. Just yeah, wide. I'm replacing um I've replaced Pedersen with the young left back, obviously. The first of five games to play him in for the objective. And McCarran for Crowley, because Crowley, again, tired. And yeah, maybe I'm considering getting Lucas on, because obviously from the from the from the squad hub stats, it looks like he's been scoring goals for us. Can I rely on O'Pendon and Ketia too many times? Especially with a low rating that hasn't been trained up completely yet. But it doesn't matter. Kelly's passed it greatly to Gardner. He nearly got his first assist. And he's only 53 rated. Good start from him, but it's the threat is still we haven't scored a goal. We have to go ultra attacking, we have to. Team in stand a chance again to draw, let alone a win. Now Saw's bloody dribbling and taking the piss. How have we allowed this to happen? Cleverly. There's a good ball, to be fair, back heel to Saar, but he miss he gets it straight to the goalkeeper. Nice, Gardner. Gardner pen. Okay, someone make a run, please. This this is ultra attacking. Where's the, where's the ultra? Where where's this? Where, where what's happening here? Oh my days! This is world class difficulty as well. Delafeu cleverly nearly gets one in the back post. We've got ten minutes to get a draw, and even then, that's not going to be good enough. We could have won this. I think this is the most moaning I've done in an episode in a while. It's it's too fair. This is not our worst performance, but that's what's so frustrating about it. Now we haven't scored one goal when you should have. Come on, might be get there. I tried being silent there, but. Just to concentrate, but if that but it doesn't seem that it makes a difference, come on, Tar, out muscle him, mate. Nice passing. Oh, Pender, do something right for once, mate. Come on. What is that first touch? But can he finish it still? Yes, he can. Okay, we've got five minutes, if that, to get one more goal. Finally, Oh, Pender, you've done something. Even that first touch was crap. But you still managed to get the ball back and shoot. Good finish. That's what we like to see. It's always Sunjik and Openda linking up as, as always. Okay. Get the ball off Delphi. Nice. 
There were two minutes to salvage something from this game. Come on. Oh, what is that pass? Oh, shit. I've ruined it. I've fucking ruined it. Excuse my language. Nah, it's done. Too little, too late. I'm so... I don't know why. I'm actually really... Look, I played well. I did all I could. The players let me down. I can't blame myself for that. I'm sorry. I did all I could. The players are just not good enough right now. They're just not good enough. Ah, <sighs> my days. It's because we restarted everything from the season onwards. So, everyone's on 70 rating. And even teams like Watford are much higher rated than us. Good performance though, guys. But we can't... It's like... what? It feels like one step forward, two steps back. Okay, luckily the manager rating's only gone down by um one. But we're still pretty dangerous territory. Okay, let's train them up. Ram uh, Clock Salter's up to 74. Ramos is up to 66, so he should be replacing Cam very soon. But uh, that's not the problem, is it? The goalkeeper's not the problem. It's the outfield players. The attackers. Dean's disappointed that I didn't play. Keep working hard, mate. Guess whose transfer talks has broken down. You know, you know who it is. I'm just going to delete the email. I don't care. Adore gear, Jeff. Uh, let's train up again. We've got a huge gap until the Everton game, actually. So. Was a user to our advantage, but nobody's gone up by too much again. Great. Okay, let's check where Everton are in the league, because we've got them now. The eighth in place. If we beat them, we're not going to be out of the relegation zone. But we can still climb up there, get past Burnley if they lose. They've got they've got worth for today. Let's let's attend the press conference because our morale's like medium because of course the results are not good enough in the league position. So even if it's a one percent more chance of winning thanks to the team morale, I might as well get it up there, get it increased. Uh, we need to look at the team. Don't wanna don't wanna take the piss out of our players. Inconsistent results. It's our responsibility to try because obviously the morale does boost stats a bit. It's me that's to blame. Okay, now we can go into the Everton game. Our players should be fully fit. Yes, they are. Shall I change up the strikers a bit? Do you know what? I have to. Do you know what? I feel like I have to change up the strikers a bit. I think Openda got the goal, so I'm going to replace Nketiah. He's young, so he can afford to. And Penda's young, but he's more experienced, I feel like. And Lucas. Openda can switch over to the right-hand side. Maybe that will help a bit. And yeah, and Nketiah, he wasn't, to be fair, he wasn't even that bad. But he just didn't get enough shots. At least Openda got shots, even though he's a bit crap sometimes. But yeah, Lucas seems to be getting the goals in. Maybe he can do... Maybe that whole dimension of holding up the ball. One striker, Evan. One striker runs in more. Maybe that's what should work. Maybe I need to get a new striker in January. Who knows? But yeah. Nevertheless, I've made that decision. We'll see if we live to regret it. If you start off well, get one goal. Like, don't wait till bloody 80 minutes to score. Because we have it in our locker. Then we can move. Let's go to Goodison Park. Okay, so we've got Everton, managed by Carlo Ancelotti, of course. An experienced manager. So it's going to be hard to break Everton down. Okay, I think I think now it's important to look at the team sheet. Maybe that's also a contributing factor to my mistakes. So yeah, so we're playing a 4-4-2. The Charleston Keane, dangerous players they've got. All throughout the whole team. Luke Shaw signed for Manchester United. That's interesting. This could be a very hard game, judging from the feet players we got. But obviously, we ha we're going to have to win the ball in midfield because they've got two midfielders, so maybe that's the weakness of their squad. But Richardson's Richardson, dangerous. Moyes Keane, very dangerous. Obviously, last season had a great season with Juventus. So, yeah, every player around is going to be... Every, every one of us is going to have to be on that A game. A game, so I'm I'm gonna go with defensive. Okay, I'm gonna play a bit more conservative. Not going all guns blazing. I'll just try and play it safe, even if it's a one goal shit housery. We need to get the three points, and it's a good start though. Openda's through already, but again, the goalkeeper or well, the defender gets there. Really good tackle by Holgate, I think. Calvert Lewin's got us, got them through here. I don't know who shot there, but Camps had to actually make a great save. Fabian Delph, if he scored against us that early, I would have killed myself. Yeah, but Camp stretches out, decent save, keeps us in the game. It's four four two formation because we're on defensive, so we have to change up a bit. I should have realised this before. Um, 
so yeah, so Oh, Penda can play left wing, so what, that's what we're going to do. We're going to play Moratbi and Lucas on the striker role. Or Penda on the left. I should have done that before. Right mid. Yeah, everyone's right in their position. I wish there was an option in FIFA to start off with these defensive tactics, like straight away from in-game, like outside the game. So you don't have to change it in-game. So, but it's fine, it's fine. Yeah, we'll keep it like that for now. That's the power of versatility. You have to use it. Crossed by Everton, but... Nobody gets on the end of it. You're defending by Clark Salter, I think. But Lucas can't keep the ball. Yeah, of course he can't. Bernard's being cheeky with the back heel. So is Richarlison. But Sunjig is no nonsense. Got the ball back. Okay, they have some they're going for the they're going for the attacking option, but they're leaving spaces in behind their midfield. 4-4-2 formation. That is the weakness. Over the top form of that B. Can he get chest it and get the goal? Oh my days, it's ridiculous. I keep on saying ridiculous today. That is the name of the game today. Oh my days. I sh maybe I should have got the ball on the, on the on the floor and maybe shot. But I feel like the defender would have got there in time. It rebounded again onto Maratby. <sighs> but he scuffed it after. Great. We started off this game well in terms of getting chances. Exploiting their weaknesses in counter-attack. But if the more the more time we don't score, the more chance Everton have got to win. Okay, Charleston. Hasn't made much of that, and the Charleston's given it to Sunjik, who gives it to a Pender. Nice passing here, but Lucas ruins it. Come on, mate, I started you out of the goodness of my heart and tactics. You need to repay that faith. Now Bernard's through. Moise Key nearly gets a good shot off, but Tar blocks it, and Clark Salter's made it go for a corner. See what I'm dealing with, lads. Well, I'm trying my best, I really am. God, January, I need some signings, I need some money, man. I wish you could still request funds on this FIFA, for God's sake. Come on, come on let's counter from this corner. Old Pender. It's Lucas. Interesting pass, but we made it work. Keep the ball conservative a bit. Don't lash it. Nice dribbling from Lucas. Which gives it to Old Pender. Keep the ball, my guy. Good play. For Lucas through now. Can't finish it, though. Rebound it. And Pickford. Ratby's got the finish. Pickford, to be fair, nearly made a sensational rebound save after he saved it onto the rebound. It was a tight angle, but it was doable. And Ratby's got his sixth goal of the season. What a great acrobatics. He tried it before, early in the game. But this time it works. Fingertips. Good dive. Makes it look very nice to look at the goal. We've got the... We deserve it. We deserve it. And Ratby, again, adding to his tally this season. Maybe Murabi, maybe Murabi should be starting a striker. Maybe that's a good way of doing it. Maybe I should be doing defensive more in, in much more games. Maybe that's the way to go. Who knows? Because obviously 4-4-2 four, four, could work. It could work. Because obviously we sold Bella for to sign a Jonathan Tarr. I didn't actually mention that. I forgot to mention that. I kind of forgot Bella left, to be honest. Because Tarr's done so well for us. But yeah, so Openda can fill that left wing role and still grow as a player. You get me? So maybe that's how we should do things from now on. Whether it's a small team or a big team. Lucas has won it here now. Oh, it's just wide. I was going to say that would have been another proof that this these tactics work better. But he scuffed it wide. I seem to do that a lot with my strikers. Charleston's got it here. To Bernard. Is that Luke Shaw? Yes, it is. But Clark Salter heads it away. Now Clark Salter's running now. We've played very well. We've played very well the past two games, but now we're making it count against them, the bigger teams. Come on. We're free. Oh, uh, ball still gets to Lucas, but he can't make the most of it. Come on, guys. We need to get our second goal cushion as soon as possible. Sunji wins the header. Everton are kind of collapsing here, I'm not going to lie. Holgate blocks it well, though. But, again, sloppy ball from... Fabian Delph. Come on, just keep the ball. Wait for the opportunity. A good pass to Murabi. Can he get a second in the game? No, he passes it back to Lucas. Can he finish it though? Yes, he can. It's 2-0. Come on. God, that's therapeutic. After last game's frustrations. Woo! Shushes the camera. Showing. 
why the critics are wrong. Maybe I've been a wrong critic of him. Maybe I should be starting Lucas in more games. At least for now, of course, until his rating drops a bit. Great, it's been a great first half for Birmingham City. They've come in to a hostile Goodison Park as always. And performed under pressure. Just a shame we couldn't get that win against Watford. But you know what? We're still going. We're still here, lads. Sunjik's won it now as well, still. Come on, let's get a third goal. Why not? Their defence is there for the taking. Go on, Lucas. Use your pace. That's a foul. No, it's not. Okay. We're ending this half on good terms, good terms though. Now it's... Now it's just a case of keeping the lead and a clean sheet. Hopefully that'll be great. I jinxed it now. I jinxed it. I jinxed it. I'm keen to score. I wasn't even concentrating. Oh, give me strength. Give me strength. Give me strength. Once across now works for once. I don't know what I'm singing about. Keen's free to bloody tap it in with his head. I got. I can't get carried away. I can't get carried away. But we're still leading, as deserved. And let's win this. Forty-five minutes left to go. Okay, Luke, Everton are obviously going to come out the gates here, flying because they want to get that equaliser as soon as possible. They're trying it. Delphi tries. Delphi. Delph tries long ranger. Doesn't work out. Nice turn by Gardner. One two with Lucas. Can Gardner get his? Can get his goal. Why not? Oh no, Holgate out oh, muscles him. He's done well, Holgate, this game. Struggle to get past him sometimes. Sunju to Murat B. Keep the ball. Holgate again gets there. He's been sensational. He's been their best player, Everton. Keen. He's a danger man. He's dribbled past the man. Oh no, and now Charleston's through. Good save by Camp. Say, keeping us as in the game as always. That could very well be an important moment. Clark Salter carrying the ball into the attack. He always seems to do that. Oh, great, great defensive cover by Clark Salter. When they get when they get high up in the pitch, but still got the ball. But we're still pressuring them though. Yeah, Mina passes it to Martina to, and to Delph. Delph tries to switch the play, but good interception by Crowley to block that. Well, intercept that actually. Crowley's running in, cross it in. He's Sunjik is free, and he's fired it, but straight at the goalkeeper, mate. Sunjik, I know you're not a striker, I know you're not an attacker, but come on, mate. You got the whole goal to get to, to play shoot at, you sh and you power it right at the keeper. Come on, I know you could do better than that. Could that would have been a great goal. That would have been so good. He deserved to, but Sunjik's still trying. Good, fair enough on him, mate. But Martina gets there. The young left back's coming on. It's a bit risky, of course, because he's low rated, versing such a good team. But you know, I need to complete the objective as soon as possible. McCarran's coming in though, for guard for Gardner. So we have two strong central defensive-minded midfielders. Because so we're just playing two in midfield. So yeah, just to see out this game, hopefully. But it's still going to be a tense one by the end. Let's get these three points, guys. Colin, great pass to Murabi. Inside channel. Tries to square it. Maybe I should have just shot there. We've still got it. Sunjik. Go on, McCarran. The substitute. Ah, pass doesn't get there. But Charleston tracks back well. Okay, this is going to be 10 minutes to save this. We haven't got many wins this season. We need to keep this one. And to treasure this and not lose our way. Oh no, I made a big mistake. Oh fuck it up. I said lose our way and then I did lose my way. I tried a skill pass. Why did I try a skill pass with my right back? Oh my name wasn't even my. I don't even know. Oh, no. oh shit, I bottled it. I bottled it. Now it's my fault. Now it's my fault, isn't it? Okay. The only consolation is that we've got five minutes to go. We can't let them score, otherwise it'll be up utter bottle job from us. Win losing from two goals up. Screw it, I'm going to go balanced now. I'm going to go balanced. Oh, what a pass. Oh, no, they really are trying it, aren't they? 
which also tries a bloody overhead kick. God, if that went in. Oh, I don't want to win. I don't want to draw. I want to win. I don't want to get one point. One point's going to do shit to us. Nothing. Might as well be a loss from the position we were in. Okay, screw it. I'm, I'm still going to go on defensive because I'm not risking this. <laughs> I can't. We've played well on defensive. We just need to be have that final shot off and try and be clinical with it. Will we have time to, though? The Charleston's through again. We're great defending. Come on, let's counter this. Come on, Sunji, get that, man. It's going to be a draw, isn't it? Yeah, it's going to be a draw. Great stuff, Sid. You've done it again. We were in the position to win that game. And I've made. I keep on being hypocritical to myself again. I keep on saying, don't lose our way, lads. Don't lose our way. And then I do that. Then I make a shitty L2 pass. L2X. The pass of dreams. When I could have just booted it out. Okay, on the consolation, we've got a point against a good team. But considering we lost to Ev Watford, then it means F all. Okay. With that point, though, we're still not rock bottom, which is great, isn't it? And with three points off the rest, well, are escaping the relegation zone, it really is looking like a fight to get out of that. And we've got lots of, game, lots of games in December, as you can see. So many games packed with the cup as well. Even without the cup game, it would be bloody mental. But now it's crazy month of December. Quarter final against Brentford. That's going to be a big one. Dean's gas for putting me back in the team. Okay, mate. I didn't start you. Uh, let's continue to train the players. Okay, I'm not too vexed now. As long as I'm not getting fired. I just feel like it's all going to add up into me getting fired again. You get me? I'm just paranoid. But to be fair, we've made it to eight episodes of the season. More than last season. So that's a good sign. Let's carry on. Let's carry on the build up to the Arsenal game. No emails to go. It's been a good episode. It's been an entertaining episode. I hope you found it entertaining. Even I have, myself. But maybe sometimes for the wrong reasons. But yeah, if you've enjoyed this episode, leave a like, comment, subscribe. I massively appreciate the support. Share this video with your mates. Let them know that Birmingham City is fighting to stay in the Premier League. And yeah, guys, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.